Alright guys, Bilem here, and this is the second part of the second part of this pickup, whatever, it's really complicated. This is the rest of the video, and yeah, here it is. These next three items, actually I believe these were some of the last things I picked up, so I guess this is in chronological order, but um, this was um, in the, I, well actually, yeah, this was in the garage sale section as well. This is, um, I got this right before I got the fishing controller, actually, and um, this guy rented out, like, I would say at least eight um, eight uh, vendor section things, and he had so much stuff, but a lot of it was junk. And uh, he had some VHS tapes, and I found one that I wanted. And I asked him how much. He said fifty cents. Um, and then I found the PC game that I wanted. Um, well, not really wanted, but I mean, he only he considered it like a VHS. I don't think he really knew the difference. So I mean, there was fifty cents for that. So I was gonna pick up the, these two items here. And um, he said, oh, I do uh, three for three for a dollar on VHS tapes, so you might as well just get another one. So, yeah, I got another one. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll show you the one I got for free first, and that is Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. Um, I, I have all the Indiana Jones movies for VHS, I believe, now. So, yeah, that was cool. Uh, awesome movie. I mean, it's fan fucking fantastic. So, yay for that. And then uh, the two items I was originally going to buy was um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, have their Happy Birthday Zack, which is episode like 10 or so of season 1. And um, this is probably one of my favorite episodes of season 1. I feel it's like, like it's a very underrated episode. I mean, while the concept of the episode, like the, that um, Zack's so disappointed that everyone forgot his birthday is so fucking cliche and everything, um, I did actually enjoy the episode as a whole, so yeah, I was happy to get that. And then the other, the PC game that I got, that I said from before, was a Zoo Tycoon. This is complete in the box. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I really don't feel like opening this, whatever. But yeah, it's in there. Um, decided to get it, it was cheap, so yay. Uh, after that, uh, this last pickup before the, in my opinion, the better stuff, is um, this, I mean, this was just a random vendor. It had a whole bunch of DVDs. Um, and there's a $1 section. Just got these because I wanted them. Uh, yeah, so three of them here for a buck a piece. Got Dragon Ball GT. Um, was it in whatever fucking sub? It doesn't matter the subtitle. I mean, um, this had this is like somewhere in the middle of the Baby Saga. I don't know where exactly. I mean, it's yeah, it has to be somewhere in the middle. So yeah, um, all these have the pamphlet things and the discs are in really good shape so I was pretty happy about that. And then this is the one I was probably happiest to see is uh, Dragon Ball GT calculations whatever. Um, this is the episodes where uh, Goku was stuck with Frieza's uh, Cell. Um, really like those episodes because I love Frieza and Cell. So yeah. And then the last one here was a movie I loved as a kid. Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. Um, I was an enormous Yu-Gi-Oh! fan when I was younger so um, yeah, I remember going to the theaters to watch this movie, and uh, yeah, I still have the fucking cards that came with the, when you watch the movie, they gave you, uh, like, packs and stuff like that, I mean, like, um, I got, like, blue Eyes Shining Dragon, which is actually on the cover right there, from it, I got, like, the Pyramid of Light, and I, I got one more, I don't remember what the other one was, but, uh, whatever, got the movie here for a buck, not too bad. Okay! Final pickups here, um, from two locations, these are from the two main game vendors I always go to. Alright, this first one is from a guy that always gives me good deals, I keep on forgetting what the name of his actual location is, but um, yeah, this guy always gives me good deals, whenever I go to his vendor he always like, just finds stuff that um, he wants to get rid of for cheap and I buy them, I if I don't have them, so. Um, I, I spent a bit more than what I wanted to pay when originally going to this vendor. I was pretty happy overall with the outcome. Um, I mean, uh, I got 11 items here. I ended up spending $20, which, I mean, is a pretty good deal. Uh, but it's, I mean, as I said, I don't typically like to spend that much. But whatever. Um, he cut me really good deals and all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, this first one here, actually, I... Um, I paid full price for it, but it was only a dollar, so it's not like it's a big deal. Got Ballistic here for the Game Boy. I don't know if it'll focus or not, but whatever, yeah. Only a buck, so I decided to get it. And then uh, two Super Nintendo games. Everything else here, he cut me a good deal on. So um, these Super Nintendo games here, these were in his like $1 section. And uh, I said, how about uh, 50 cents a piece? And he said, sure. Uh, so yeah, I got PGA Tour Golf and Super Bases Loaded. Just two games I didn't have, 
50 cents, not gonna complain. And then, um, uh, some NES games. I don't typically buy NES games. I mean, NES is really... I mean, NES and Genesis are the two collections that I really don't collect for too much. Actually, and PSP. Yeah, everything else I have sizable collections for. But I mean, for NES and Genesis, it's just like... I don't know. I just feel very blah on it. I don't play them too often. Um, like, with NES, I just don't have too much nostalgia for it. I mean, I have nostalgia for a few games, like Mario, obviously, and then... Uh, RC Pro Am, Marble Mania, uh, Marble Madness, sorry. Uh, but I mean, overall, I'm just not that big of a fan of the NES. But I mean, I did get four games here. Um, yeah, I actually do I. Yeah, all right. Um, this one was marked at five, um, but he gave it to me for two dollars, which I thought was um, really surprising that he went da down that low. But I mean, uh, yeah, Adventures of Bayou Billy. I mean, it's not an expensive game. It goes for around two dollars. But I mean, it's a game I wanted. Um, I don't know why I didn't get this in Portland, because I could have sworn I saw this in Portland for a buck. But, um, yeah, paid two bucks for this, so happy to finally have it in the collection. Got um, Two to Earth. This was priced at $3. Got it for $2. Uh, don't know anything about it, but I just thought might as well add it to the collection. Got Mock Rider. Uh, got this for 2 bucks as well. has a sticker on it, sadly, but um, this was originally marked at 3 so $1 off. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's a black box title, so whatever. And then this title here, I was trying to get for, um, I mean, this was marked at five as well. And, um, I said, would you do two on this one since he did two on the Bayou Billy? And, uh, he said he couldn't do that, but he'll do three. And I was, I, I contemplated it. I was like, all right, I'll get it because it's a game I wanted. And I was pretty happy to find it. And that, even though it's not that expensive of a game or it's not an uncommon game at all. And that is, uh, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Pretty happy to get this for three bucks. I mean, it's I mean again, it's like only like a five dollar game. But I mean, it's a game that I've been wanting because um, it just looks fun. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of like uh, sort of like mini games and stuff like that, where um, you just like do activities on the rides at Magic Kingdom and stuff. Which um, it's kind of weird since Magic Kingdom is like thirty miles away from my house right now, so it's not like I'm too far away from the actual Magic Kingdom. But um, yeah, happy to get the game. It's a Capcom title, so I mean can't be too bad can it all right and the rest of this stuff is actually boxed and um, I mean it's not the greatest titles but I mean it's stuff that I mean I'm just happy to get any box games uh, because I love box games I mean I always said like if I ever sold off my collection which I I think is gonna happen at some point I mean, I'm already contemplating it to be completely honest but at some point I know I'll sell off parts of my collection I'll never sell off the entire thing but, I mean I'll sell off the crap at some point and if I ever did, I would try to get stuff complete in box. Um, because I just love box games. And um, these are sports titles. Um, you know, he wanted really cheap prices for all these. And I mean, for box games, I mean, if it's cheap, I'll buy it no matter what. So, um, yes, for, actually, yeah, he gave me a dollar off on this total deal. Because everything added up to $21, I believe. And he gave it to me for 20 And uh, this was kind of the reason why. Um... And I was kind of surprised, like, I, I was looking through his NES, bo uh, Super Nintendo, sorry, uh, box games, and he had a uh, Chuck Rock, and he had it, um, uh, what was it, for 15, I believe, and, um, I just asked him, like, how much is, like, another game that was a sports game, and he said two bucks, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get the sports games, fuck it, I mean, for two bucks a piece, I mean, I don't give two shits, I'll get it, but, um, this one, I really just wanted the box itself, I already had the game, and, um, I mean, he sold it to me for two bucks, and that is, uh, NHL PA Hockey 93. And, um, he, I mean, this is the reason why he marked it down a dollar, because I was like, um, I already have the game, I mean, I'll just, um, I'll buy a box for a buck. He didn't really want to do that, because he couldn't really sell the game by itself. So, I mean, he just, like, took a dollar off the deal, because, I mean, it was $21 anyway, might as well just do 20 so yeah, pretty happy to get this complete in the box. I mean, I'm happy to get any complete games, so yeah. And then um, this was the other $2 sports game that I got for Super Nintendo. And it's not in the greatest shape. It's a bit crushed. But I mean, it's actually a pretty good deal because I looked this up on uh, online. It's apparently, like, complete in the box it actually goes for around 15 bucks. So for 2 bucks, I was pretty happy to get it. And that is extra innings. I uh, didn't have this game at all. So for two bucks, got just went straight to uh, getting a complete copy. So I was pretty happy about that. And then the other game that I got for Super Nintendo complete in box was uh, this George Foreman's KO Boxing, which I believe I have this for NES. 
Yeah, I have this for NES, but I don't have it for Super Nintendo. And um, yeah, complete box. He he wants three dollars for this one. I don't know why he wanted a dollar more for this one, but whatever. I'll I'll pay three bucks still for a Super Nintendo complete box game. And this one's in really good shape, other than the corners. Uh, like this corner and yeah, the, pretty much just the corners. But I mean, everything else is in pretty good shape. So um, I thought three bucks for that isn't that bad of a deal. All of these are complete, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But yeah, I was happy to get those. And then this last one here, um, I asked how much his NES game box games were. I mean, they're I mean, most of them were typically more than what I was willing to pay. But I mean, um, there was this one here which I already had the game for, but I just wanted the box, and the box is in such great shape. And um, I asked him how much he wanted for the game. Uh, he said five bucks complete, which isn't a bad deal. I mean, it goes for around ten dollars, ten, fifteen dollars complete. Uh, but I already had the game, so he was like, "Would you just do like three dollars just for the box?" And he said, "Sure." And um, this one's complete with the manual and everything. And um, yeah, that is Out Unser Junior's Turbo Racing. But um, yeah, really, really good shape. I don't know if you can see this. It's like shiny still. Um, the, the only damage it has is right here, which you can't really see, but there's actually a line there. But I mean, other than that, it's in really, really good shape. And three dollars, I would have paid for the box. I really didn't care. But um, I, I don't know if this was a mistake or not. But the game is still in here. <laughs> um, yeah, um, he didn't take out the game. So I mean, I guess. I mean, it was probably a mistake on his part, um, but, um, yeah, I guess I got the game for free. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I already have a copy right here, so, I mean, I have no use for this game. This game doesn't sell for too much, so I don't know what, what I'm really going to do with it. But, I mean, uh, pretty much got a complete copy for three bucks, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And, all right, the last pickup here. This is my favorite pickup. This was um, from... The uh, game video game trader, I believe. I don't remember what it's really called, but um, it's it's a place that I mean, uh, it's the prices are usually a tad high, but I mean it's I mean it's what you expect from a reseller. Yeah, I I I caught them slipping. Uh, let's just say that. Um, but I'll show you that last. But I did uh, trade. This is where I traded in the. Um, Jaws Unleashed and the Warriors that I got from that other place uh, and they were both really beaten up scratched to hell and they gave me six dollars for it which I was um, I mean, I was okay with I paid four dollars for them so I mean I guess I got two dollars um, extra and actually this stuff added up to seven so um, and I just did a straight trade I actually had to really convince the guy to give me the one another one dollar game for free but I mean Whatever. But yeah, I got three items here. And um, this is the one that I had to convince him to give to me for free, even though I didn't really want it too much. But I mean, I just thought I was sweeten the deal. And that is uh, a NASCAR Heat 2000. Uh, complete, really good shape. Um, I don't know. Just threw it in. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I, I still probably, I still would have gotten these two items here um, if he didn't throw that in. So I mean, whatever. And then um, these were the two items that I was pretty happy to see, especially the second one that I'm going to show you. But um, this is marked at five, around what it goes for. But happy to see, and that is uh, Disney Sports Skateboarding for the GameCube. Complete, really good shape. Uh, game, another game that I've been looking for for years. Um, it's been on my wish list since I was a kid, and finally got it. Uh, five bucks is around what it goes for, so it's not like a spectacular deal. But I mean, again, it was traded, and I guess you could say I got these three games for four dollars, since that's why I paid for the stuff I traded it for. Um, but yeah, it looks like a crappier version of the Disney, um, whatever the other one was, Ex Disney Extreme Skate Adventure. But um, yeah, happy to get this one. Not the most common game. And then this is why I caught them slipping on. Um, this was marked at one fucking dollar, and easily a twenty dollar game here. And I, I, I just caught them slipping, and it was just fucking amazing. Um, and actually when I was negotiating and stuff like that, I never showed him the actual game itself. I always just showed him the spine, uh, just because that's where the price tag is, right there. You can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it, it won't focus, but it's 99 cents. And, um, because I was scared that if he saw the label, he realized that it's worth more. But, uh, yeah, got it for one dollar. And it's actually in really good shape. I'm compare I mean, all right, I'll show it to you. Uh, NFL Blitz Special Edition. 
um, pretty uncommon game. Yeah, I mean, 99 cents for this, this was a fucking steal. Even, but, but what's so strange about this is that the only way I can ration, like, rationalize this is, is if they were pricing it as, um, regular NFL Blitz, but they even had other copies of regular NFL Blitz that were like 3 to $5. So I don't know why this was only a dollar, but I'm not going to complain. I mean... One dollar for this was the fuck was the the best pick of the day. I mean, this was fucking awesome. So, um, and actually, even less than that if you consider the trade in. So, I mean, um, really, really good deal um, today. Really good day um, day of hunting today. Even though the weather was god awful, and I didn't think I would get too much, but um, yeah, I actually got. I mean, a decent amount of stuff as you just saw in the pre like in the previous video in this video. So, um, yeah, that's everything I picked up from Flea World. So, yeah, stay tuned for another pickup video sometime. And, um, yeah, probably I'll do a collection video, too. I believe next up is 360. So, stay tuned for that, too. And thank you for watching.